this. So basically what I like to do, ladies and gentlemen, when I'm doing this problem, is first thing, always make sure it's in descending order. Is this problem, or I'm sorry, in standard form. Is this problem in standard form? Yeah. Yes, we already tested that, so I'm not going to make you guys do it. So in this case, your degree is 2. Leading coefficient is negative 4, right? And basically, the only questions you're going to ask yourself for degree, is it even or is it odd? Is it the leading coefficient, is it positive or is it negative? That's really the only question you guys are going to ask yourself. Is the degree even or odd? Is the leading coefficient positive or negative? So we look at our degree. We found the degree was 2. That is even. What? Because that's the highest power. Remember, the degree is the highest power. Okay? Leading coefficient is negative 4. Is it positive or negative? It's pretty obvious, right? That's negative. So then we go to our little table that we looked at, and we say, all right, what is the end behavior then when the graph is even and has a negative? And if you guys remember, that's going to be down left, down right. Another way that you guys might see that on a test is we might say that the graph, instead of going down, we say it falls left and falls right. I actually prefer this. OK, yes? Oh, you don't spell t left like that? Were you, were you from New Jersey again? In Florida, we do the two Ts, right? No, we don't. OK, thank you. Um, I don't know. It's just one of those days, I guess. Is everybody OK with this? Did I say that? Yes, no? You can ask, talk to me, give me some kind of feedback, something. We're good? OK. You're good. 